All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's episode two. I'm annoyed. Let's have another go. So let's talk settle here. I don't like to massively change how I go about the settling because obviously it uses knowledge that I wouldn't have had first time around playing the game. So I don't like really changing the settle unless we get to sort of like five or six defeats, then I'm gonna start really panicking about stuff. I kind of liked roughly where we were. It was very defendable, it was very full of fresh water and the mountains were an amazing natural barrier for everything. So there was a lot to like about this start. We will continue with this start. Where we're gonna do something slightly different is on on units. I'm not going to go for double scout this time. We're going to actually go for a novel eagle warrior and, and that's basically the main difference. We're, we're going to make sure that we prioritize this time going for the encampment earlier and going for the iron working earlier as well. Like that is our path. That's what we're going to be trying to do and we're going to try and survive. Surviving is really really important here. Otherwise my unit is going to kind of do a very similar tour of the local area. There were lots of different tribal villages, lots of people to meet. Era score we had a bit of a problem with with last time so I don't know if we'll be able to actually get a golden age if we can that'd be useful but uh Dido, I mean, Dido already likes me minus 13. It's a, it's a low chance it's a low chance she really was the death knell of last run wasn't she really was oh she's gonna get this tribal village this time that's annoying oh okay I, I love how the game just is slightly different every time it's like nope this time I'm not gonna let you have it okay our first eagle warrior is out let's get the settler going let's work on this astrology boosted again not particularly helpful here. But here is Byzantium. No introduction for you. I don't want you to know where my city is for as long as possible. She's going to find it anyway. There's so many ways through the mountains. I mean, yeah, she just moves through my unit. Of course she does. Fine. <laughs> fine. Oh dear. Gotta love the AI sometimes, haven't you? I mean, there is one option here. I could attack Singapore. Now, I want to be friends with all of the city-states as we go through the game, because the more we have on side, the more combat strength we get on my melee units. But I could attack these warriors, and by doing that, I could level up my warriors, give them all battle cry, and then steal a bunch of warriors that I could then use for encampments. I, I don't know if that's the way I want to roll, but it is a possibility, so we shall just keep that in mind. Code of Laws, we'll go God King? Do we go God King? Oh, you see, the combat is probably going to give me the Pantheon just by fighting. So for once, I don't think I will go God King. I'm going to get Urban Planning instead. This is a slightly different loadout, but it gives me the Settler quicker. It lets me buy or produce more units quicker. Then we need to go a Gogi as well. This is the issue. Jaguar Warriors, Eagle Warriors. Jaguar Warriors are really cool. Eagle Warriors are very expensive. Compared to regular Warriors, they cost a lot. So currently, my Militaristic 25% production boost I mean, that is barely making sure that my unique warriors are actually affordable full stop. Lahore this time wants an archer. I'm hoping we might get a slightly luckier roll on the quests for my city-states this time around. Stonehenge again. Or oh, turn later this time. It's turn 19 last time. Only turn 20. Oh, Phoenicia falling off. That's what I've heard. Byzantium already coming for me. They're already coming for me. Good, good, good. All right, I'm going to have to move you across. Move you to there. There's Fountain of youth. We need to settle Fountain of Youth again. That was actually really handy for me. Instead of buying a cheap warrior, I think I'm actually going to save my gold and go for an eagle warrior. The warrior itself was so weak. The plus nine combat strength, it could barely keep up with the AI. It really wasn't very handy. There's the settler. Settler's gone. And now we eagle warrior spam. That's all we can do. That's all we're going to be able to get out, at least until the encampment. Now, last time it took Byzantium quite a few turns to actually get herself sorted. There's Russia. So I'm hoping she's going to do the same here. And there you go. Well, bam we have 10 faith from the barbs we can prove this eagle warrior back down to my capital no she's going for me already wow that was way quicker than last time okay we underestimated how quickly she would be able to attack that's not good fine okay we got loads of boosts first of all we double check does anyone want to join in on this war nope dido still doesn't how about you russia nope russia doesn't want to get involved this time fine found the city one era score that's guberman we have the beautiful fountain of youth get the eagle warrior roll there. We sell the olives to Russia. Nope, I can't get enough gold off that. Ah, that's annoying. I really need is the eagle warrior in my city as soon as possible. 260 gold needed. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go for it. This is a ridiculous move, but this has been forced by the fact that Byzantium attacked us so quickly. 31 strength, right? Now we can at least hold off this warrior a little bit. Not much, but we've got some defense now and they're attacking across a river and everything. Look at that. Okay, yeah, they're just attacking me, attacking me, attacking me but don't forget, I heal every turn. I heal
heal every turn. That's all you need to do sometimes. Get the kill. Yep, you're gonna attack me again. You're very welcome to. Yes, battle cry. Defend across a river. Russia settled towards me again. That's fine. We don't mind in the long run. All of these cities will be reclaimed by us eventually. There's the Pantheon. I actually think that going for breathtaking appeal did work really well. I mean, look at this. Turn 31, two religions are already there. Phoenicia and Russia both have religions. I imagine Byzantium. No, Byzantium isn't going for one, but look how many people are. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for a religion this game. I don't think we would have been able to pull it off. And there is a bit of a counterattack coming from Byzantium here. Fine, doesn't matter. Give me more faith. Let me hold the lines where I can. We just whittle down the strength of the enemy attacks. We will win. We are prepared this time. We have learnt a lot. Yeah, we've learnt this time. We're a little bit, we're a little bit happier. We've already got four of our warriors out. Loyalty's looking a little bit better. They are counterattacking where they can. All I need to do is just shuffle my units around. Just keep them all next to fresh water. Keep them all healing. AI can't deal with the heat. So get out of the kitchen. That's what I say. You want to leave yourself there, do you? Fine. Fine. Bam. There's a builder. Once we've got enough builder charges, we'll look to get an encampment down. Russia and Phoenicia are both leaving units in my land. Like, come on. I don't need all of the AI to pick on me like this. Not not everyone. Take it in turns. One, one sieve at a time. Russia doesn't like me because I don't know anything. Fine. Seems a bit mean, but uh, who am I to complain? It's true. I don't know anything. And bam. Oh, no kill. I thought we'd be able to get a kill that. Oh, that's Slinger. I keep forgetting that the Fountain of Youth only takes one movement cost. I always think it should be difficult terrain, but it is not. Oh yeah, Russia's coming in now, aren't they? You can just tell. The builder vote. Attack and kill. Okay, now we have enough builders. If we wanted to, we could build an entire encampment. So we want to get that done as quickly as we can. Great generals are going to help us so much. It's the difference between our Jaguar warriors having 45 combat strength when they attack and 55 when they attack. I mean, that's, that is big upgrade. And this is progressing so much quicker. Yep. And this time Russia goes to war with me. So I get my luxury back. At least I get my luxury back. Can't believe that. That is nonsensical. Right. Agogi. Now we're producing units just a little quicker. Attack. Attack. Oh, heavy chariot. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't know that was that. Okay. Certain units have moved away. Russia has managed to get a siege going of my city, which isn't particularly nice. Oh, and they have strength when fighting near a palace. Of course they do. That is Russia's version of followers of the feathered serpent. They're really good at taking capitals over. Ah, annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay, the heavy chariot didn't charge in and kill me. Sometimes you have to take the minor wins and that is a minor win. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do a little bit of chopping here. Just a little bit of chopping. Don't judge me environment. Please don't judge me environment. I need the strength. <laughs> <laughs> the start is brutal. Yeah, look, uh, Phoenicia is now looking to charge in as well. You can just see it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the siege. The siege is bad. Oh, that flood is useful though. Does that hurt anybody? No, nobody took any damage from that. Typical. Okay, everyone is in a golden age apart from me. We'll go for inquiry again. Can I make peace with Byzantium? Nope, nobody's going to want peace. This is going to be an eternal war. Move you to that. Get you to attack. Just weaken that troop down a touch. And then go one and then two. Break the siege. I think I do just need the encampment as quickly as possible for the gold. I can't afford to spend the gold. That's the big issue. Reason being is I need to save up for my eagle warrior upgrades. Okay. Yep. They're moving troops away. Good, 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 good. Now we need to defend. Now we need to defend. Phoenicia might still attack me here. There is a real risk that they might attack me still. But there's nothing we can do about that. Oh my Lord. Look at the amount of builders we've captured. <laughs> Well, I guess there's, if there's one good thing about this war, that'll be it. Yep. Okay. Right. We've really pushed some units back now. Plunk the encampment down on that tile. That it, again, I just, I really want to put it there because it'll block this passage. Stop anyone from spilling through it. Yep. Venetia are definitely attacking. But until they do, they actually are making this easier to defend. That's the funny thing. And we go, bam, take the kill, resume the encampment, perma war. So this has turned into permanent deadly war. Gone. Venetia, are you going to attack? No, you're just going to stand and all of your units around. Ugh, it's so annoying when they do that because my city just does not have enough health to survive this sort of level of crazed attack right now. Anyway, at least, at least I can now add production to a district and we can start working on this encampment quickly. Are you attacking? Are you attacking yet? No, you're just going to stand all your units here. The longer they stand there, the more health the Major King Kong gets back. And if I can make it four turns, I can upgrade one Jaguar Warrior and give this city a lot more defense. A lot more. In fact, even finishing this district is going to make a big 
big difference. Nope, no war this turn. And Russia just keep attacking my defendable unit. Like this, this hill is eternally defendable. You can attack that all you want. This time I have state workforce and military training boosted. The encampment is finished. Amazing. I could go encampment training actually and rush a couple of these projects through. But I think the thief I'm getting. I mean, I've already one sixth of the way to a general. So I might just hold off. Focus instead on going for eagle warriors. Nope, not this turn either. Not this turn either. I don't know what Phoenicia is waiting for. My garrison strength actually went up by plus two with that encampment being finished there. Russia have archers. Uh, that's not good. Do you want to get involved in either of these wars? Oh, Phoenicia is now at war with Russia. Right. Ha 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 ha. This is brilliant. This is really, really good. This now means that Phoenicia and Russia are fighting and they have units all around each other. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. My first little bit of secret diplomacy. Right, now we go for state workforce. We do have flanking bonuses now. It's just a little plus two bonus. But sometimes all you need is a little plus two bonus. Just a little bit. It's little bits that'll help. Now, they should attack each other rather than me. But we'll see. Nope, they still attack me. Of course they still attack me. Ugh, I guess that sort of checks out. I don't think this eagle warrior can withstand an attack from an archer and a heavy chariot. So I might have to bail from that position. Just move some units around. Pull them back in different places. All we need to do is survive. One more turn. One more turn. The archer is not doing damage to my city. Why are you not all fighting each other? <laughs> What is wrong with you? Okay, ironworking. Let's get masonry up. Let's get ancient walls going. Eagle warrior. Four turns. Eagle warrior. No, sorry. Jaguar warriors now. These are all ready to go. 60 gold upgrade. I can afford to upgrade two. Let's go for both of my level twos. So we will upgrade you and give ourselves four era score. And then I'll switch you two around and do exactly the same. Major King Kong now has 40 strength. I mean, even attacking across a river with plus 10. I'm still only just holding up to even combat combat with heavy chariots. Heavy chariots are a real problem for me right now. I mean, why Phoenicia and Russia aren't doing more to fight each other here? I don't know, but it's highly annoying. Actually, no. Animal husbandry first. We might need to get rid of this cattle. Are you going to attack? Go on. Attack each other. Attack each other. Nope. You're just going to attack me across the river. Fine. Fine. That's actually fine. I'll take that. Whilst I'm in a defendable location, I might as well just attack every turn. I'm healing. We'll go one attack there. Two attacks. I can kill. Right. That's good. Oh, my lord. This is absolutely ridiculous. The quarry boost for masonry. I won't keep that forever because it's really disgusting. Oh, low appeal. Don't forget, we're a militaristic environmentalist, okay? If you don't respect the environment, we'll kill you. <laughs> it's not It's not a difficult message, people. Respect the world, or the world will not respect you, and by the world, I mean me. Lahore is being attacked. Who's attacking Lahore? Is it going to be Byzantium? Yeah, Byzantium is just chowing into that city-state. That's not friendly. Don't do that. They're probably going to be my allies. I mean, it doesn't matter. If they, if they do attack them and take them over, which it looks like they're going to and we can always liberate them later and that'll be an instant suzerain so it's not the end of the world but you can see just how ridiculously strong the ai is here okay i think it might be time for my jaguar warriors to shine here although there's too many archers i might need them to sort of pull into my cities a little bit hey actual combat actual combat between them all it's only a little bit of combat but hey it's good i've got one jaguar warrior manning encampment just dismissing people with venom here although i think actually he's actually liable to counterattack. I didn't think I'd actually get that kill. Oops. Let's go in and just try and do some damage to that archer. Just shuffle everyone around a little bit here. Now I can chop away this tile. Pop the encampment down. Let's get this rushed through. Come on now. Yeah, Lahore has been taken and that's not good. That's not good at all. Did we get any sources of horses? One, two, three, thought. Yeah, there's loads of horses around us. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Yes. Yes. Fight amongst yourselves. Do it. Oh, I survived the attack. I honestly thought I'd mucked up that. That that was a muck up though. I just lost a Jaguar warrior. Oh, they're so good at attacking and they're so bad at defending. All right, pull back, pull back. At least I've got a, an instantaneous replacement. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this encampment anytime soon. Russia doesn't want peace. Byzantium doesn't want peace either. Fine. Eternal war it is. So at least they're fighting amongst each other now. Oh, Gooberman's got a lot of attacking going on up there. Well, we've survived longer than last time. I don't know if we're doing better, but we've definitely survived longer and that's, that's that's kind of the main thing. Oh, a horse has appeared now. Oh, that's much stronger than a heavy chariot. 48 strength when fighting near my palace. Yeah, that's not good at all. Urban warfare, Jaguar warriors. I mean, if we can get them anywhere near the front line, they will eventually be really, really powerful. If I can get them near the front line being, of course, the big caveat. Okay, being attacked, being attacked, but I'm holding my position in the woods. Now you're attacking the city. Oh my lord, that was over half the health in one go. No, 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 no. I 
I don't like that. Why do you insist on being like that? And why is Masonry suddenly one more turn off? You were supposed to be finished. Oh dear. Sometimes. Sometimes you have to just sort of scratch your head and go, what's going on? I'm going to have to do some more chopping, which infuriates me. But look, look what they're doing to the environmentalist. I have no choice. I physically have no choice. They're making me do this. I'm going to have to chop out this warrior and it'll appear in my city center, which will give the city center strength. And then I'll attack the horseman to do a bit of damage to it. Oh, feels dirty. Feels dirty. Swordsman's on its way. Yep. AI is ticking up now. This is the problem with level 13 AI. Just in the background, they have science, they have culture. They can do anything they want to just keep pushing on. I'm actually running out of gold. I can't afford any more upgrades here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn. That's so many heavy chariots just appeared and they killed my Jaguar warrior up to the north. Goodman's fall. Yeah, Goodman's gonna fall if I'm not careful here. This is bad. <laughs> At least I've got some gold now. I was just complaining about not having any gold. There you go. That's my fault. Come on. Get the walls up as fast as you can. Can we at least get peace? No, someone offer me peace. Duh. I don't know if the Jaguar Warrior can survive here, but I can't afford to leave that horseman alive. I'm going to have to counterattack. Counter, push out. Everyone move. Attack, attack, attack. Now we can get archery. Unlikely to make too much difference here, but it might do side on. Oh, come on. Now that's just cheeky. That's just cheeky. Okay, my capital's on almost zero health now. Is there anything I can do to hold it? I can't actually clear that heavy chariot in time. I'm going to move my warriors around. I, I think the capital's lost. I, I don't think there's anything we can do to hold it. I'm going to move all of my units around to tiles where I can easily attack back. I can counter and hope that we can do it in the same turn. I, I think that's it. That's all we can do. My lord, this is absolutely brutal. This is brutal, but there's nothing I can do. Byzantium is going to take the city. Yeah, because I couldn't. I couldn't clear that unit, but now I can counterattack. All it cost me was three population. <laughs> What's three population, really? Move your armies away from my borders at once. Literally, Dido. I... I don't e what you settled towards me i i don't even don't even know oh i've had it up to to metaphorically here with the ai today one two three cities mine again yep cost me three population three whole annoying population that's a massive loss and a load of loyalty of which now the city is not loyal genuinely tearing my hair out here <laughs> Victor, I'm going to need Victor. Get into the capital. Keep it both loyal and stronger so I can at least have a chance of holding it. Well, that's state workforce. We'll go foreign trade now. Just hope that at some point the AI wants to peace out. Don't know if it ever will because it knows it has the advantage against me here. So why would you peace out? There's no reason to peace out here. Another kill. Another yin. <sighs> Why are there four arches there? Come on. That is ridiculous. Why are there four arches there? Honestly. Okay, now they move their units around. They move their units around. They spared me. They spared me this once. Okay, I'm able to use my builders to kind of bait units into attackable locations. Moving quite well. Like, as long as I am the one attacking with my Jaguar Warriors, that's the big thing. If we can make sure we attack. We can get good damage in. Bait units into standing on tiles they don't want to be on. And then go from there. That's kind of what we're rocking at the moment. Bam. Lots of kills. Lots and lots of kills. Now we need to go for writing and just hope we can get back into the game. Please. I'm just every turn just checking. Checking to see if we can get peace. Alas. No peace. Yep. 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 This is what I mean. All the powerful units in. Get good attacks whilst I'm protected. Venetia has a man at arms by the way. They have a man at arms. Someone's killing Singapore as well. I guess that means that we're going to have an opportunity to liberate but still the AI is just being relentless here. But Russia's now above a thousand military strength. Just defending is not going to work. We've actually got to take the attack to someone somehow here. I don't know how we're going to do that. I really don't know how we're going to do that. But we need to take the attack somehow to the AI. Attack the horse. Attack the horse? No. How was that not a kill? Come on. That should have been a kill. That should have been a kill. This Jaguar warrior now has elite guard. It is level four. That is how much combat we've done by turn 65. Relentless. Relentless pace of fighting in this game. People are just moving about. People are just moving about. That's good. My Jag This Jaguar Warriors, they just make attack after attack after attack. And as long as I leave them near fresh water, they just keep healing. And they're basically indestructible. It's just when the enemy starts to counter attack. That's, that's the problem. That's when things start to fall apart. But it's all right. Maybe we can hold off for a bit. At some point, I need conscription. But at some point, I also need political philosophy. <laughs> Nothing is really falling for me at the moment here. Yeah, you just keep falling into my trap. You keep falling into my trap. Don't 
don't mind at all. If you want to just keep stealing my builders, I just get kill after kill after kill. I've had to do too much chopping. Too much chopping, but we now have walls up at any rate. No production in this city whatsoever. One archer, and then I should be able to afford better ranged attacks on the walls. That's what we're hoping. Got 45 strength in this city now as well. Now suddenly, Major King Kong is minus 3.5 even with a governor. I'm just going crazy now. I'm going crazy. We're, we're going to attack Russia. Whatever city was forward settled below me, it's going down. It's going down, and that means that I'm going to have to attack recklessly in the southerly direction. But if I'm healing every turn, I have to just go through it. Otherwise, I don't see a way out of this. That's the thing. You, you, you've got to be aggressively pursuing a win condition at all times. And now that I have no way in my head of winning this right now, that worries me. So we need to start pushing in some direction. I kind of almost want them to take Singapore. If they do, I can liberate it. Russia has a man at arms. Yeah, okay. That means the cities are going to be too tough. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at this. I can't get anywhere near it. That's, uh, peace? No? Peace? No? No. Oh, I can get a luxury. Oh, thank you. That helps on loyalty a little bit in both of my cities. That's good. Well, maybe we go for Thessalonica then. My eagle warrior can't even survive. I don't even think it would survive. 40 something. Mm. I'll fortify just to see, but I'm not convinced. Okay, being attacked in various places. Of course, Byzantium has a CAD. That's not good. Hang on, do you? No, I thought Russia had a CAD. Hang on. A second. Yeah, Russia does have. How did you do so much damage to my walls there? I don't even know. Don't even know. Don't don't ask. People are now jumping on great generals very quickly. Crossbows. Ah, oh, Byzantium has crossbows. Well, Singapore just got raised to the floor. It's gone. It's totally gone. Okay. And I've got an archer now. Okay. My cities, they're not really attacking very much, but at least they attack a bit now. I have to actually push forward a government plaza really quickly to get the loyalty in my old capital. That's the crazy thing, but I've got enough builders to push it through. Well, I mean, we're holding now. That's an improvement. I don't know if it's much of an improvement, but but, but it is a small improvement, and we've now got set defenses, which are stopping this man at arms from just tearing through my units. Killed a crossbow as well. Bam. Look at that. We now have actual loyalty in this city. Good. Good. The generals are now being scooped up. Oh, I just need like 50, 60 more faith. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Look, encampment done now. We've got some land. I mean, it's not very good land, but it's we, it's got some of it. It's ours. Haha. -ha, Victor. Give yourself garrison commander. Plus five combat strength when I'm defending and also the extra loyalty. Oh my goodness. Peace. Peace is being offered by Byzantium. Oh my lord. Okay. I mean, it's not a very good peace. They're offering me loads of strategics because they don't know what they are. So I will take all these no one knows what they are but they'll come in handy for later <laughs> Okay, maybe not that one. And I'll take some luxuries as well, actually. There you go. Look at that. Peace deal with Byzantium. Oh, one person is now not at war with me. We survived. Like, that, if anything, will be taken away from this as an utter win. But we're so far behind. This is the thing. It's turn 78, and I've got nine techs compared to 20. There's crossbows and men at arms that I'm trying to fight into here. If we're going to win this game, we need so much more momentum than we've currently got. So much more. The only thing I want to test is just how much advantage do I get if I do get the faith to get the great general. That's that's kind of what I'm looking at at the moment. This is the last piece of the puzzle. How much is the great general worth? Does it really help or is it kind of a bit like meh? Here you go. Great general. So with everything all included in the great general's effects on, you can see I have plus five combat strength when near any great general and then plus five from the great general itself. So yeah, my jaguar warriors, they start attacking with significant strength. It is good. It will really, really help. But I mean, look, Phoenicia's got muskets and it's only 55 strength against the cities. You know what? I think this can be won. This particular attempt I think is flawed and it needs to be restarted. But this, I think, can be won. We just need momentum. We just need to absolutely get a win at the beginning of the game and run with it. Maybe my attention has been in the wrong direction. Byzantium and Russia are awful. They will just continue to fight and fight and fight and there's nothing I can do to stop them. Maybe my attention should be in the other direction. I think this is a channel first. Turn 80. We're going to have another go. Oh my lord, the excitement! The excitement! Well, this series has certainly been a little different so far, hasn't it? <laughs> 
Here we go. Attempt number three. Third time is the charm. Okay, let me level with you. This is really difficult, okay? Byzantium and Russia both tag teaming me, not only with 10 warriors each, but also then almost infinite 200% Sid Meier production and a plus nine combat bonus. It is almost impossible. But because this is so difficult, we are going to use our knowledge of this map a little bit, and I'm going to settle somewhere a little bit different today. Rather than around the lake or in this spot before, seeing as it is floodplains around there and everything, we're actually going to go and settle down here towards Phoenicia. I'm going to settle on top of the first town. Now this will give my capital a little bit of extra food. It'll give it a luxury, which will then count as plus one combat strength. But there are two sources of horses and a source of iron down here. So our economy should be a lot better. I'm hoping because we're a little further away from Byzantium and Russia, maybe they'll be just a little more chill as well. Are you going to be more chill? The AI is unlikely to be chill. I mean, that's that's fair, but it's worth giving it a go, isn't it? We still want to go and settle up towards the aforementioned and aforesettled Fountain of Youth. I think that is honestly the best thing to do, but maybe our lock will turn here. Maybe this is going to be just a little bit better. I'm going to go for the scout start. The era score is too good not to. And we're going to start with animal husbandry because we've got another fur and then obviously the horses that spawn are going to be really helpful as well. In fact, do we go for the scout or do we go straight for builder? No, go for scout. Okay, Singapore, you're being really annoying. You're not letting me through here. Go on, move your units. Thank you. Will this be it? Will this be third time is the charm? I don't know. There's Phoenicia. Honored to meet you. You are closer to me now, but maybe Phoenicia is the person to attack. Phoenicia is so good at focusing on boats. Maybe she won't be so good at a land army. Annoyingly, she's just grabbed all of the tribal villages around here. Ah, oh, like every time. It's like the AI has learned as well where all the tribal villages are, which is, to be fair, that is fair enough. I, I am using my knowledge of the game a little bit here. It's only fair that AI does the same, but still, it's a little bit annoying. Yep, they grabbed both tribal villages there. That's a lot of era score loss. Never mind. Zanzibar, that is not the first meet. Fountain of Youth, that is also not the first meet. Venice is also not the first meet. Although Zanzibar, I think, actually wanted the boost for astrology, so that worked out quite nicely. Cool. Foreign trade boosted. There's Byzantium. Honored to meet you. Love to sample your hospitality. And there's Lahore. Now we know where Akkad is down to the south as well. We'll see if we can go and find that as quickly as possible. Animal husbandry. We're working this horse now. Bronze working time. And Russia. Wanted to meet you. Exchange information on capitals. They're all the way down there. So they, they really did forward settle me. <laughs> they came all the way up north to come and settle near me. I guess that means I'm just really, really worth settling there. Just a, a lovely person, seemingly. Phoenicia has already denounced me. Oh, and I've just noticed there's loads of warriors around here already. Oh, please don't be like this game. Please don't be like this. Urban planning and discipline. Yep. Let's sell my fur immediately, like so, to get the builder in. Then we can get the horses and the extra fertile. We'll try and get craftsmanship with these three boosts. Like the industry of this start alone is so much better than my previous start. So, so there's a good chance this is the better one. Potatoes, we actually found it this time. Now I'll send my scout around in the other direction. I met player, got Stonehenge again. It was turn 19. End of turn 19 that happened once again. Mining, finished. Bronze working now. Managed to avoid fighting barbarians. So <laughs> you actually don't have the boost for that for once. Second source of fur. I'm going to try this. Three gold per turn. No, 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 no. The horses are at least giving me some industry. Some economy, I should say. Right. All we need. Ugh, yeah, Venetia's on the way. That is not good. We're going to send our settler out quickly. And spamming eagle warriors, I think, is absolutely of the biggest priority. Hoping it's going to take Venetia a couple of turns just to move all of their units into an acceptable range for them. Let's go and just quickly get that source of horse. Brilliant. Move you back there. The settler is now safe enough. So I'll send him off without. And we've got the eagle warrior back in Major King Kong with a lot of useful tiles now. I liked the settle I had before. Fountain of Youth was a very, very defendable location, especially with the extra healing you get every turn. Just in itself was pretty good. Okay, they're already attacking me. Wow, that's so quick. It's not a surprise war, Phoenicia. It's not a surprise war when I know all about it. Who else has met Phoenicia? Byzantium has. They won't join in on the wall. Neither will Russia. Fine. Byzantium will buy on my horses for a ton of gold, though. Okay, some pillaging happening already. I need 260 gold. It always pains me to do this. Three gold per turn. No, I need another one gold per turn sent away. Now I can move you to that and get myself another eagle warrior and then I can settle my second city, Gruberman. Now you've got the science coming along. That's good. Oh, we're already sieged. I don't want to be sieged. Sieging is bad, but I can get a kill there. Eight faith. Good. That releases the siege. Now I can attack that 
unit, which will make it too weak to attack itself, hopefully. Attack, attack. Okay, as long as we're healing. As long as we're healing every turn. Yep, there's another Eagle Warrior. Good. We've viewed that. Another one in five turns. We, we just need as much of an army as we can get, really. You attack, you fortify. This time my scout is able to go and explore a little bit. So Era Score is, is just a touch easier to get. It's just whether or not I can hold on to Major King Kong. But they haven't taken it yet, you know. Not yet. Which is which is interesting. A Gogi. That's extra production towards Eagle Warriors there. And that's a unit kill and a builder, which means I can start working on my encampment. And we've got our first battle cry now. Let's attack you because you're isolated. Gives me another battle cry. It's just surviving the beginning. If we can survive just at the very beginning, I feel like I'll have a little bit in the way of options. The longer I can hold out, the longer I can hold out, the more chance I'll have of surviving this whole thing. There's battle cry. There's another attack. More builders now. And we should have a pantheon next turn. Yep. Little love taps on the city, but we're holding. We are holding. How did we survive that initial rush? I actually have no idea how we've done that, but look at all these builders. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank goodness. I think that's the worst of it for now dealt with. So, Pantheon. Plus one food and production from camps. There's actually deer there. There's also the furs. That would be two tiles that would be improvable. Pastures as well. We could get culture from pastures to get oligarchy quicker. That's suddenly a good move. Production and faith from improved strategic resources. I mean, again, I've got two there. What's the breathtakingness of my land? It could be more breathtaking, to be honest with you, but it'll get there. It's whether or not I want to wait on the faith because ultimately I did get a general. So the Pantheon got me a general eventually, but I think I can use the builders to get the encampments more reliably as long as I've got the army to back it up. We've got to go for the rush. Let's try something different. If we just do the same thing over and over, we won't learn, will we? So let's get God of Craftsmen. One production and faith on both of these horse tiles and suddenly Major King Kong has 14 production. With a Gogi and with my hidden agenda militaristic for 25% extra bonus production on military units. Healing every turn though. The healing every turn though. That is what will hopefully continue to do so well for us in this game. Especially as our troops level up. We need a lot of gold per turn to survive these eagle warriors. Yeah, they're gonna just attack me. Fine, fine. You're doing a lot of damage. You're doing a lot of good. No, Russia. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, j I promise you, Russia, I am gonna get so annoyed with you if you... <laughs> Okay, it's fine. We're building an army. We're building an army. Keep pressing. If we just sit back and defend against both people here, this will not work in the long run for us. Okay, yeah, they're attacking. They're attacking. But my city is healing. Bronze working is there. I've got that source of iron. Not that I knew exactly where it was. How would I ever know that? No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that. I've already worked it. Look, when you get beaten around by the AI like I have been, you have every right. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, The Nickerman, Daddy Bear Todd, Toon General, Civilized, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Mixamatosis, MTG Golfman, Indigenous 68, Technology Per. Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Charlie Bears, Flying Dutch Burbs, Nate the Great, Alex Frost, Mean Penguin, Interplanet Janet, Frankincense Battlezord, Sleepy Lab, Bukaluk79, Bob Loblo, Davilex, Geography Teacher, Juvara, Hal Karnassus, Morax, Zynakush, Kappa Yobi Vireni, Echo Bear, Deja Fu, Kovu Woo, Legally Trash. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!